Students at state universities and community colleges will return to fully open campuses this fall. Today, officials said they will use the summer to gradually expand operations. But what will things look like when students return? We have heard from many of you with questions about college in the fall and the specific requirements. So Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino took those questions right to school leaders. He is joining us live now from the answer desk. And Mike, what did you find out? Well, many campus restrictions will be lifted. Instead, class sizes and other uh, events like that will be regulated by state rules and CDC guidelines. I also asked the one question on everyone's mind, will vaccines be required? We are open for business and we are very excited. Southern Connecticut State University President Joe Bertolini welcoming back all students for the fall semester. All four state universities and 12 community colleges in Charter Oak State College will return to normal operations. Officials are confident that the ongoing vaccine rollout, coupled with public health protocols, will make it safe to return to normal. Was there any consideration to requiring vaccinations for students to return to campus? Not at this time. The 17 school system will not require vaccines for students to return but instead will encourage students to get the vaccine. I'm going to bring the mobile vaccination vans in. I want you to tell your friends and friends of friends, come get vaccinated. And we'll find out maybe later in the year whether that's enough. Today, Yale University announced it will require all undergraduate, graduate, and professional students to get the COVID vaccine. Wesleyan made a similar announcement last week. Quinnipiac has said that it will also not require vaccines, although they will continue testing unvaccinated students. Classes will still have three-foot social distancing requirements, meaning class sizes will still be reduced. The schools will add classes and continue with online learning to help students get the classes they need. We've learned a lot from our past year and the idea is to be flexible. All university students will be able to stay in dorms if they want and student activities will see fewer restrictions as set by the governor and the CDC. Students at Gateway Community College were excited by the news. It's more like um structure and like more like they left have less leeway like they'd be on you like to do the work i definitely have seen a lot of students struggling with the online learning and not being able to really socialize now school officials said that they could revisit the idea of requiring vaccines in the future so that's a situation that we will need to continue to follow now if you have a question or a problem that you'd like us to investigate use the channel 3 app and let us know we're here to cut through the red tape and get you the answers that you need Live from the Answer Desk, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.